Hello, everybody, and welcome to Demetra's channel. Just want to let you guys know what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be running through company updates, industry updates, answering any questions you guys have for us. So if you have any during any of this, don't be afraid to send them over. And of course, introducing members of the team and talking about their backgrounds. So who better to kick us off with video number one than CEO and founder, John Trask. John, how are you doing today? Fantastic, Michael. It's a great day. Wonderful. Glad to hear it. So first and foremost, I like to paint a picture of your past, right? So let people know some of your past experiences and just kind of lead up to the point of where you are today. Yeah, I mean, I've got a, a pretty diverse path. Most of, most of my life, I've been involved in supply chains, implementing technology in, in large supply chains in uh, energy sector, automotive, consumer goods, food and agriculture. Um, I've built, a, built and implemented a number of systems, probably more than 150 systems mm -hmm. in my life and uh, typically do business with very, very large companies. Uh, a couple of years ago, I uh, decided to, to work more on farming and uh, did this startup. I had a small blockchain company we were consulting around. North America on blockchain implementations and and found an opportunity in agriculture and started up Demetra as a, a new product. So let's let's dive into that a little bit. What, what what sparked that? What was the catalyst that led you look at blockchain? Which first of all, a lot of people it takes them a while to come on board with blockchain technology. They usually do come on once they learn about it, but it takes them a little bit. So what was the spark that made you look at agriculture, look at blockchain technology and be like, these need to be married together and I'm the man to do it? Yeah, so I guess very early in my career, I was uh, involved in software and involved in crypto. Uh, like 30 years ago, I was doing cryptographic al algorithms and, oh. and uh spending a lot of time on how to encrypt and decrypt data. Um, always been an interest of mine. I moved into ERP systems after that, which really brought me into supply chains, which lead me to, to food manufacturing and, and how do we move produce and food around the world from a logistics perspective. And, you know, I kind of, progressed through that career and, and went where the work was um, in mid 2010s, like 2015 or so, uh, I got asked by a consulting company uh, to go work on a crypto project. And uh, they saw in my CV that I had a crypto background and they did not put crypto blockchain and, and cryptography together as the same thing. So. You know, they, they asked me to look at a couple uh, crypto projects that existed at the time and do some assessment of those for inclusion in a, in a business. And I said, I really don't know anything about crypto as it is. And they said, well, cryptography must be close enough. So it's yours. This is what you're going to do. <laughs> so uh, I had to go on a crash course and, you know, being a, a programmer, I went and grabbed some of the programming languages and 2016, 2017, started looking at what I could do with crypto and decided to open a company called Blockchain Guru in Canada. We did a lot of uh, crypto consulting. We did some work with, you know, big four consulting companies and, and a lot of corporations exploring blockchain and how they can use blockchain. And I ended up working in Africa on a project and while I was there, had somebody ask me if I can create an identity system for people, can I create an identity system for cattle? And, and of course, it's exactly the same principle. And that intrigued me. Um, it probably was reminiscent of my childhood. My grandfather was a farmer and I spent a ton of time in my youth on his farm. You know, he had cattle and he had crops and, uh, and, you know, when you're a little kid in a little town growing up, maybe you want to move to the big city and, and uh, have some fun and, and experience different things. But as you get a little older, you start reminiscing more about home and, and your childhood. And, and I think it really struck a chord with me. And I started looking at agriculture in a different light from a, a large scale perspective. 
and took a contract and ended up building a, a prototype system for uh, identity of farms and identity of cattle. And, and that kicked off the concept, which is now Demetra. Interesting. So that, that's funny that you, okay, so you were a cryptographer. You, you had cryptography as like one of your skills, which is predates cryptocurrency by, a, by quite a bit. And I'm not yep. trying to aid you, John, by any means, but, and then you, then you got wrapped up in the, in the new cryptocurrency world and the blockchain world, open the blockchain guru thing, which is interesting. And then the gears started turning when you got introduced to that agricultural world. So now where you're sitting at today, the official CEO and CEO. founder of Demetra, tell me what does your role entail now? Kind of, kind of deconstruct what it is you handle on the day to day. We have a big crew and I spend a lot of time designing the vision of the system and working with the different leaders in the company around the vision of the system um, and our vision of the company. We've got, uh, I think, 14 directors now within the company and close to 150 people. And those people work in sales. Um, so we're talking and listening to customers. This morning, I had meetings with the Minister of Agriculture of two different African nations. Um, and then worked on some project planning for a project that we've got going in India, and then worked on a, a press release for a, a new contract we just signed in Colombia. So my days vary a lot. I, I work with our marketing team, with uh, Mike and the, on the crypto strategies, um, work with the dev teams and our chief technical officer and our project managers on each of the projects that we're executing. And then all of the other fun things that you have to do in a business like HR and finance and accounting and, yeah. and all of those. So yeah, it's, it's very uh, exciting. It's, it's interesting. I would say it's what you've done. So blockchain being so new, it, it's obviously worldwide. It never sleeps. But um, in the same vein, I mean, agriculture is also a worldwide thing. So you, you kind of got to be in contact with people from all over the place and uh, kind of steering the helm of the ship a little bit there. So I guess, what are you most excited about here? We're, we're in 2022 and it's going fast. At least it is for me. I'm sure it is for you too. What are you most excited about for the rest of the year when it comes to Demetra? Well, I mean, we've got some big things coming up. We launched our livestock guru system. A couple of weeks ago, uh, running in Africa now, we're going to be setting it up in South America with another client, and uh, we're building the next version of that. On April 4th, we're launching our SaaS model, um, and that's going out to uh, a, initially to a corporation in India that serves about 400,000 farms, and so we're going to be doing a lot of crop work there. So that one's exciting. We've been working a long time on, on this version 2.0. We built a pretty rudimentary version over a year ago now and, and then had this big vision of what it would become. And, and now it's ready, it's tested, and we're just putting some last finishing touches on it. And, and it'll roll out in India next month or just in a, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, John, it sounds like we have a lot we can talk about over the course of the next series of these videos. And next up, guys, we're going to do a deeper dive and kind of kind of get a better feel of everything business-wise. But, John, for now, I think you did a great job introducing yourself. But if anybody has any questions, don't be afraid to send them over, and we will happily answer them. But for now, John, thank you so much for your time today, and have a wonderful day. Thanks, Michael. Take care.